Your mission data has been saved. Is he still, is he alive? still alive? He was he when was Olga brought him in. I've checked I've everything, checked including the genome, genome data, data, but there's nothing on this guy. NSA, CIA, FBI. He doesn't exist in any database. He's a non-existent operative from a non-existent organization. I suspected as much. However, I know this man. Hmm? Wake him up. It's been a while, hasn't it? Jack the Ripper. You know this fellow? You remember me, don't you? You've grown. <laughs> High concentration of cerebral implants. Have they altered your memory, too? <laughs> This is my son. I taught him everything. Jack, I never thought I'd see you again. You know me? You don't remember. Your name, your skills, everything you know, you learn from me. The 80s, a civil war. You were one of the best among the child soldiers that fought in that conflict. When you were barely 10 years old, you became the platoon leader of the small boy unit. At the time, your outstanding kill record earned you several nicknames, including White Devil and Jack the Ripper. Jack, I was your godfather. I named you. When the war ended, you disappeared from the relief center. I wondered what happened to you. I should have known they would recruit you. It's an interesting coincidence. If he's a lackey for the Patriots, I doubt he knows anything of interest. What should we do with him? We'll use him like you suggested. What about Dead Cell? Ignore them. <laughs> uh, happening again? Could it be that he's here too? <laughs> In another hour, we demonstrate the power of Arsenal gear. Attack with standard weapons, of course. Yes, proceed as planned. At last report, all is well with GW. Hmm. How about the troops? The men are being refitted with Arsenal gear equipment as ordered. You're the spitting image of Big Boss. <laughs> Is that so? Perhaps I should be grateful to this kid for that. This situation, I find it very nostalgic. Where am I? Why, inside Arsenal gear, of course. Actually, we're also inside the memory of Shadow Moses. I'll take this back. You don't need this anymore, do you? A foul wind is blowing. We shall speak again. Don't move. Stay as you are. We're being monitored by a camera. What are you up to? I'm switching over to nanocommunication. Mr. X? Ninja? Correct. 
It's me. I thought you were the leader of the Russian troops. No, that was just a smokescreen. A smokescreen? I was sent to provide you support. Support? Who sent you? The Colonel? No, the Patriots. What? I... I deceived my troops, betrayed them. But why? My child is being held hostage by the Patriots. It all started two years ago when I lost my father during the tanker incident. My men and I had nowhere to go. So we joined forces with an illegal Russian organization. The Russian Mafia? Something like that, actually. I learned much later that it was a subordinate organization of the Patriots. I was expecting at the time. When I gave birth to my child, it turned out I was in a hospital run by the Patriots. In the morning, my child was gone. My baby is being kept somewhere in this country. Have you ever met your child? No. Once a month, they send me a photo of my child via network. I've never even held the child in my own arms. I see. Given your situation, nobody can blame you for what you did. That's your opinion. What about Snake? I thought you were enemies. He wasn't responsible for my father's death. Actually, we owe him our lives. Two years ago, they were responsible for getting us out of the sinking tanker alive. So you were partners since the incident? No, I only found out the truth shortly before this. Huh? When I confronted him here. You fought with Snake? When? Well, it was around the time you were holding hands with that girl. Snake. So you joined hands with him to pay back a debt? No, mutual gain. Mutual gain? My job was to assist you. If Solidus gets away with Arsenal, your mission is a failure. The Patriots would judge that as failure on my part and terminate my child. Putting it simply, my child's life depends on your success. So you did it all for your child. But why would the Patriots want to help me? Are they hoping I'll take Solidus out? No, you're just like me. We're just pawns. Pawns for what purpose? The S3 plan. Huh? You'll figure it out sooner or later. But I wonder if you'll handle the truth. What do you mean? Listen, we haven't got time for this. Solidus will commence his attack any minute. He's got to be stopped. What about the virus? No results so far. I think the Patriots have tampered with the program. Will it work? I don't know. Get me out of this thing. Not yet. I'll release your restraints after I leave this room. Where's my gear? Snake's got everything. I couldn't bring it here. And where do I find Snake? The passageway ahead leads to a hangar. He'll be waiting there. I gave him a card key for the hangar. Does Snake plan to destroy Arsenal gear? No. Even for Snake, it's impossible to completely destroy this thing. The only option is to stop Solidus and his men. What are you going to do? Stay concealed. That's my role. I still can't afford to be discovered. Olga, you can't keep this up. They're bound to find you. Listen, I'll free you in a little while. Brace yourself. Jack, are you all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Jack, is it true? What Solidus said? Yes. It's unbelievable. Drafting small children, sending them to war? It's not allowed under international conventions. ICC rules don't mean a lot in war. Someone told me that there are over 300,000 children in combat right now. I was just one of them. So you remember. I thought your memory had been manipulated by them. It was, but I have nightmares every day. Pieces of the past I can't put together. Why didn't you tell me? You couldn't begin to understand. You wouldn't know that until you try me. I didn't want you to get hurt. <sighs> there was never a real reason for me to fight, 
except that someone put a gun in my hand, and that someone was him. It wasn't your fault. If I survived the day's fight, I was praised, fed, and had a bed to sleep in. I think I was only six when I held my first AK, but I'm not even sure of that. Jack. I'm not like Snake. I never questioned why we fought. There was no purpose, no way out. They give you a gun, you ask how many to kill. If you didn't, you were the one they shot instead. It's okay. No one is blaming you. We were shown Hollywood action films every day. The kind with macho guys and big guns. They call it image training. Ugh. They... they built us from the ground up into killing machines. We were fed once a day. I can still taste the gunpowder they mixed into the food. Gunpowder? In the food? The gunpowder had toluene in it, giving it hallucinogenic properties. It kept us drugged, controllable. Oh my god! <sighs> when the Civil War ended, those of us who survived were taken in by NGOs. They gave me a new life in the States. I can't complain. But nothing's changed. The only people who have no problem with my past have secrets and agendas of their own. Terrible nightmares. Every night. I can never forget. Jack. I'm afraid of the night. That's why I don't sleep next to you. You should have told me. Told you what? That I'm a killer? And always have been? No. No. What I hate more than anything else in the world is my own past. I didn't want you or anyone to know about it. <laughs> now I know why I was chosen for this mission. No one can take him on, take him down, except me. I've been kept alive this long for this. I knew as soon as I saw Solidus. Jack, I love you the way you are now. You have to believe me. <sighs> I didn't know anything about you, I admit that. Where you were born, how you grew up. But I know that now. And I know that what I feel for you can only get better. And I'll share in your past if that's the price. It doesn't work that way. No one can share the burden of what I've done. It's not one of those warm and fuzzy things couples share. I accept the good and the bad, Jack. That's what you do for someone you love. I don't want to share my past with anyone. I just want to forget about it. Jack, I haven't told you, you know, about what I've done. <sighs> the last two years with you, it's been more than I've ever hoped for. Jack. But I can't go any farther. I know you want to get married. I... But I can't. I can't risk starting a family. There's no way to erase my childhood. <laughs> it's all right, Jack. Please, don't say any more. Raiden, do you copy? You must continue your m mission. I've lost all my gear. I need to locate Snake. He was never factored into the simulation. Leave him out of this. I can't do much naked, especially in this temperature. That's true. You won't be able to attack or enter the hanging mode either. I think Snake has my gear. Raiden, take out Solidus and his men. You must recover Arsenal intact.
Colonel, are you under orders from the Patriots? Your role, that is, mission, is to infiltrate the structure and disarm the terrorists. My role? Why do you keep saying that? Why not? This is a type of role-playing game. The point is that you play out your part, and I expect you to turn in a perfect performance. Colonel, I just remembered something. What? That I've never met you in person. Not once. Hmm. Complete your mission, according to the simulation. Colonel, who are you? No more questions. We have Rosemary. What do you mean by that? Over and out. Raiden, turn the game console off right now. What did you say? The mission is a failure. Cut the power right now. What's wrong with you? Don't worry. It's a game. It's a game just like usual. You'll ruin your eyes playing so close to the TV. What are you talking about? Raiden, something happened to me last Thursday when I was driving home. I had a couple of miles to go. I looked up and saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east. It was moving very irregularly. Suddenly, there was intense light all around me, and when I came to, I was home. What do you think happened to me? Huh? Fine. Forget it. Even my patience has its limits. I just can't leave this thing up to you any longer. I'll do the fighting. You can just go home. Infiltrate the enemy fortress, outer heaven. Destroy the final weapon, Metal Gear. Honestly, though, you have played the game for a long time. Don't you have anything else to do with your time? Variety level 13. Rescue Meryl, the return of Ginola. An anemone or clematis plant's juice can cause a rash. When pruning them, it's a good idea to wear gloves.
I hear it's amazing when the famous purple stuffed worm in Flapjaw space with the tuning fork does a raw blink on Harry Carey Rock. I need scissors. 61. I was a North American fall webworm in my past life. Ah, oh, those were the good old days. What were you in your former life? Actually, there is something I have been meaning to tell you, but I just couldn't. I think you should know, though. On Saturday morning last week, I saw a guy leaving Rosemary's room. How should I put it? It was like they were... intimate. I'm sorry. Sorry to bring this up during the mission, but... Jack, it's me. Hi, Rose. Jack, I owe you an apology. If it's about that conversation just now, I'm the one who's sorry. No, it's something else. What is it? That day at Federal Hall two years ago, it wasn't a coincidence. I was ordered to keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on me? Yes, by the Patriots. You're a spy? I suppose, yes. It's an ugly word. <sighs> Are you still there? Was sleeping with me a part of the job? I fell in love with you. How could anyone? I can't excuse what I, 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 I did. I've reported every detail of your personal life to them these two years. What you did, said, everything. Must have been fun. But some things I didn't tell anyone. Oh. Like what I felt for you. So that's why you were involved in this mission. I should have known. Why else would they toss an analyst into the mix at the last minute? I'm sorry. I know what I did was wrong. No matter where I go, I get used. I reinvented myself to suit your tastes. Hairstyle, clothes, the way I moved, things I talked about. You say you love the color of my hair, my eyes. They're not even real. You must have gone over my psych profile with a fine-tooth comb. It was my job. Great performance. Had me completely fooled. What I really wanted was for you to see the real me. It hurt to play out this... This artificial romance. It was worse to lie to myself than to you. The more love you gave me, the more it hurt. Because I knew the person you loved was just a character. So it was artificial on my end too. It was just a game, not the real thing. Oh, Jack. I feel better knowing that. What? I was in love, or thought I was, with someone who didn't exist. I was trying to be someone I wasn't by loving what wasn't real. I don't know who you really are. The person I knew isn't real. She's not the woman I'm talking to right now. In a sense, the deception was my own, not theirs. Jack, I thought I was acting because that was my job. But I did fall in love with you. That wasn't an act. You expect me to believe that? Ugh. It's okay. You had your reasons, right? Hey. I understand, but I have nothing left to- Jack! What? I'm... I'm carrying... I'm pregnant, Jack. Rose! What's going on? Amazing how you walk around like that. Snake! Been waiting long. Where's my gear? Right over there. That's more like it. Everything you had when you were captured is still there. Sorry about earlier. I had to use you as bait to gain access to Arsenal. It worked. Why didn't you tell me about Olga? You never asked. Oh, 
Not happy about that? Get over it. Any effects of the virus yet? Still waiting on that. So, it was rigged by the Patriots? Looks like it. From what I can tell, Arsenal is headed for Manhattan. I don't know what Solidus is planning, but we'll have to deal with it one way or another. There's also a troop of production model rays ahead. How many units? 25, according to Olga. 25? Yeah. Can't say I've faced that many Metal Gears before, but I think we can deal. No way we can. We can, because we have no other choice. How? I've stocked up on Stinger missiles. Oh yeah, Olga left this for you. Why? Olga asked me to give it to you. Besides, I'm not a big fan of blades. Move the right stick up and down to make a vertical slice, and left and right to slice parallel to the ground. Move the stick in a circle to do a rotating cut. Push it forward to lunge and strike. You can guard with your blade if you have the L1 button pressed down. You should be able to deflect a bullet or two. Come on, time to go. If you run out of ammo, you can have mine. You got enough? Absolutely. Infinite ammo. Wait up, Snake! What? Snake, have you ever enjoyed killing someone? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between reality and a game. Diminished sense of reality, huh? VR training will do that. No. It was field training when I was a kid. I lied, Snake. I have more field experience than I can remember. It's not VR that's doing this to me. Raiden, we don't carry guns to take people down. We're not here to help some politician either. You can say that because you're a legend, a hero. I'm Jack the Ripper, a dirty reminder of a terrible mistake. Legends don't mean a whole lot. I was just a name to exploit. Just like you. People will remember only the good part. The right part of what you did. There's no right part in murder. Not ever. And we're not in this to make a name for ourselves. Then what are you and Otacon fighting for? A future? You can stop being part of a mistake. Starting now. What am I? What am I supposed to do? Find something to believe in, and find it for yourself. And when you do, pass it on to the future. Believe in what? That's your problem. Come on. Snake, Raiden. Otacon, you all right? Yeah, so are all the hostages. That's good news. How's everything on your end? All right for now, but there is something. What? The Colonel's last transmission was strange. Strange? How? Just strange. No idea. Interference? I don't know. Where is this Colonel? I don't know. I've never met the man, actually. I'll dig around. Thanks. I owe you one. If there's anything else, call me on the codec. I might be able to help. The frequency is 141.12.
Raiden, about this colonel of yours. I found out where he is. Where? Inside Arsenal. What? I've checked out all the possibilities, but I keep coming back to Arsenal. It isn't a relay point. It's the origin of the signal. Hmm. And the encryption protocol it uses is exactly the same as that of Arsenal's AI, the so-called GW. What the hell does this mean? I think it means you've been talking to an AI. That's impossible. The Colonel probably isn't GW per se. GW was most likely stimulating cortical activity in the dormant part of your brain through signal manipulation of your own nanomachines. The Colonel is, in part, your own creation, cobbled together from expectations and experience. That's crazy! But it's probably the truth. The virus may be starting to affect GW, which would explain the Colonel's behavior. It was all an illusion? Everything I've done so far? Raiden. Snake, what's happening around here? I don't know. What I do know is that you're standing right here in front of me. Not an illusion. Flesh and blood. Huh? It's your call. You can drop this if you want. No, I can't do that. Let's go. Raiden. They've got Rose. What? Rose is being held in the holds. It's a trap. Help! Rose! Raiden, get a grip. But Snake... It's a trap. Since the Colonel doesn't exist, there's no way he can take Rose hostage. Yeah, you're right. I am right. Okay. Uh, does Rose exist? Don't be weird. She's your... What if I've never really met her? What? If the Colonel is something that I partly dreamt up, then... Everything I remember about her could be... Don't jump to conclusions. You and Otacon are the ones that say the Colonel never existed. Raiden! Is this what Olga was talking about?
use this. The root of all my sorrows. What? Two years ago, you killed my father. That was the beginning of hell for us. Everyone I love has been taken from me one by one. And no matter how hard I try, I can't follow them. An endless nightmare. The only thing we live for is to see it end. Our wait is almost over. You can't be serious about firing the nuke. Since no one can kill me, I may as well kill everyone I can. Starting you Damn! Looks like I'm today's pick. You go on ahead. You want eternal rest? I've got it right here. What are you gonna do? Bullets can't get near her. I'll think of something. There's no such thing as a witch. You think you can kill me? I don't know what your group's been through, but let's get one thing clear. I didn't kill your father. Do you think anyone believes your lies? Raiden, get out of here! Jack, I've been watching how you fight. It looks like you've remembered the way you used to kill in the old days. Or is it one of the S3 plan's proud achievements? What are you talking about? It came as a complete surprise when Ocelot discovered the S3 data from GW. Not a bad idea, though. Using fire to fight fire, creating the perfect assassin to retire Solid Snake's brother. S3 stands for Solid Snake Simulation. It's a development program to artificially reproduce Solid Snake, the perfect warrior. The result is a Foxhound Commando. When Foxhound no longer exists, a simulated Solid Snake shaped by VR regimen. Sound like someone you know, Jack? I'm sorry to see you reduced to one of the Patriots' puppets. But I've made use of you. And their plan, too. Solid Snake's sudden appearance, your arrival. It was obvious the Patriots were among my ranks. I had to smoke out the agent before the mission entered the final phase. You came in handy, as bait. Jack, those days during the Civil War were as real as they come. Every day was absolute, split between life and death. You ran from it, and now you've been led back to war by something less than real. No more games, Jack. At least you know. There's no reason to keep you alive now. I've given you a word.
worthy opponent, at least. But now, you should die as the little Jackie boy I once knew. <laughs> Thank you.
respond. Right? Raiden!
this. They'll know. I'll hold them off. Give you time to get away. What about you? <laughs> this is suicide! Your nanomachines, they're transmitting your vital signs to the Patriots. If you die, my child dies. Do you understand? The child. I see. So that's why you sold your troops out to me. So many dead, and they all died trusting you! Ugh. Weren't they your comrades? No, not just comrades. Family! <laughs> I know I'm going to help, but at least my child... I applaud your attitude. If you have a death wish, I'll be happy to accommodate you. See you in hell! <laughs> Enjoy the show, Jack. Let's pick up where we left off. Hmm? What's going on? What's wrong with it? AI. GW, it's out of control. What? What happened? Maybe some kind of virus. The Patriots? I don't know. Ocelot, what have you been up to? It's too late. Arsenal system control is going haywire. It's on an emergency ascent course. Stupid machines! Bring him in. 